So I absolutely love the hairstyle from the 50s. I wanted to do a 50s up to, and look, not only were the hairstyles amazing, they weren't actually going to salons to get it done. The client or the woman was actually doing it herself. Um, but anyways, listen, so I wanted to do an updo inspired by that era. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. So when we talk about 50s styles or 50s updos, this is what we're talking about. The big barrel curled hair. It's just an amazing look that's never going to go away. I love the style of it. It's just a classic, classic look. So let's start with, with the breakdown of my sectioning, what I'm going to do to get the 50s look. You can see right here, I've sectioned the fringe area off into that triangle section. So from the point of the top of the head where it starts to curve, where you'd normally cut it to the corner of the eyebrow, I just sectioned that out of the way. That's basically your end section. And then on the side, we take a middle part down the middle and then we drop it down just below the ear or just behind the ear is my next section. You can see here, so I'm just gonna section that out of the way. And this is just to show you, you know, how I'm doing it. It's not to say it's the perfect way, but it's the way that works for me. And then in the back, it's from ear to ear. And then I section that top part completely out of the way right around the occipital bone just directly right across the back. Now I always start at the back or at the base nape area, you know, you don't have to, but I just click that out of the way. And what I'm going to be using today is the, it's the Aquage Working Spray. It's a firm hold. It's a non-aerosol spray that is uh, worked on dry hair and I spray it on the mid lengths and ends and then I actually apply some heat to it to allow that to lock that hair together. Now this is a mannequin head so I'm not going to get the ideal finish that I'm looking for but you just got to remember when you're looking at these videos we're looking at the technique you know everyone's hair is different so again this is a mannequin head you're not going to get the ideal finish but this is just the style or the technique that I use that you may be able to incorporate on anyone's up to. So after finishing the bottom part, I go ahead to the top of that section and I just take a very slice, a very small section, and I go ahead and do that. Um, I don't do every section in between. I'm just doing the bottom and the top to lock that hair in to make it bendable. So when I roll the hair, I know that that part's going to be smooth. And then I'm going through and I'm backcombing everything in between to give myself the base that I need or the fullness to make that hair stand out and have something to pin it to also. So now just grabbing that whole section and clearing everything out of the way. Now remember this is a mannequin head. I'm not going to have the ideal finish that you'd get on a client. And then I'm going to roll it in and pin it. Now I've got the back combing in there so I know I've got the support underneath it. So again I'm just rolling that in and I'm going to pin it into place. Now remember, if it's not where you want it, take it out and do it again, exactly what I do here. Look, it, there's no uh, rules that can't be broken, so you just got to get the look that you're going for. This is where the ability of the artistic side of hairdressing, I feel like, comes into play here. So you can place it wherever you're happy with it. So moving on to the top section, again I take the outside part and just use that locked in spray or the uh, working spray on the outside. I very rarely use it on the inside because I want the back combing in there and the teasing to have the base when I put the pin in. So just rolling it under and putting it into place. So 
So again, moving on to the side panel, doing the top and the underneath part with the Aquage working spray. I use my flat iron to apply the bit of heat. You can use a hairdryer if needed. But now we're going to roll this up and wrap it around my fingers and then just pin it into place. So hopefully now you can see the technique I'm using and I just work my way around the whole head going section by section using that Aquage working spray. Look I think this is a classic look that's never going to go away. I love the end result. I love the 50s. The thought that women used to do this to themselves is just incredible and the time that they would spend to get their hair to do a certain thing or to do what they wanted to do and to spend hours on it before they would head out. It's just the coolest look. You know, I, I feel like this is never going to disappear. So if this is the first time you've come across one of my videos, do me a favor, check out some of my other videos, hit that subscribe button, and uh, leave a comment down below. 